welcome back to Mika React Reviews, reacting review to things on the internet. Same day, same shirt, a different video. And today we are reacting to a brand new artist on this channel. Praying to the YouTube gods, they don't block. Cause like every time I do a new artist, it's always like a chance they're gonna block it because I don't know or not. So I will be stopping it more often than not. Um, anyway, we're gonna be reacting to Twisted Sister. We're gonna be doing, we're not gonna take it. Um, okay, so I do know of the song. I don't know the lyrics. I don't know it thoroughly. I don't know what it really means. And I never seen the video before. I just know of this song because it's quite a popular song. Uh, it's this extended version. So here we go. So looking at it with fresh eyes and fresh ears, more like a reaction review. Fishing music video uploaded 11 years ago and it has 137 million views and 1 million likes. So we're getting right into it. But before you do, if you like this type of videos, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to get some notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. So if you like to support the channel even further, you can donate. My PayPal me link is in the description box below and also in the comment section. Of course, it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, and subscribe. Another great way to support this channel is to either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my brand new merch shop. Other than that, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, here we go. Pass the carrots, please. May I be excused, please? Yes, dear. Okay, stopping it there. First of all, I hate hearing people chew, so that is disgusting. Boom mic, move away from the actor when he's chewing. Um, God, this dad is a fucking asshole. As far as I can tell so far, he seems like one of those really religious conservative type of dads that was already like the stereotype of that type of parent in like early, you know, early media, early television. All right, let's continue. What is that? Devil music. <laughs> I know what that is. That's music. Douglas, see, please. He's just a child. Don't Douglas see me. So yeah, this is very this the, the trope of the religious conservative parent and the rebellious teenager boy or teenage girl, you know, both, both teenagers. Teenagers gonna rebel no matter what. You can be the most like liberal, progressive. I don't give it a fuck what my kids do type of parent, and they still will rebel. But this is definitely that hardcore trope that was like in the '80s and early '90s that people still, for some reason, think that that's like your typical like conservative family or something like that. But anyway, I get it. It's an exaggeration, but yeah, love it. And by the way, is this like a part of a movie or like a television show? This this section here, or this is just the extended version of the music video? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, let's get back into it. All right, mister, what do you think you're doing? You call this a room? This is a pigsty. I want you to straighten up this area now! You are a disgusting slob! Stand up straight! Tuck in that shirt! Adjust that belt buckle! Tie those shoes! Twisted sister! What is... of a man are you? You're worthless and weak. You do nothing. You are nothing. You sit in here. That's, that's guitar. Who all right, all right. Oh, God. I need a break from that. Uh, that sermon. Whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> Jesus Louise. Okay, they picked a good actor. They're definitely exaggerated. The drooling. Uh, like, I carried an M16. I guess he's trying to say he was a soldier. Like, I was a soldier. I need to play with his guitar. Like a little toy, little boy. I think this is my, might be where, like, the idea of toxic masculinity come from. I know it's gone off the deep end today, but this idea that like, what kind of man are you? Like, he's not, he's a teenage boy. <laughs> and what kind of man 
are you yelling like that to a child's face? You can come to this room and like knocks everything off over and talking about like you live in a pigsty. Anyway, I get it, I get it, but let's continue. <laughs> I want to rock. Okay, so again, I think this song is still relevant today. How many of us today feels like we're not gonna take it anymore? We're done. Have a right to choose our lives. Leave us the fuck alone. Back the fuck away. <laughs> Let's continue. First of all, this is definitely the 80s era. Like I looked at the description already, the song from 1984, the big hair, all the crazy makeup, you know what I mean? And I kind of feel like we miss this era of rock and roll. Like I feel like rock and roll now is so like rated, like watered down, rated PG, kind of like in the system instead of fighting against the system. And I feel like rock and roll, especially in the 80s and the 70s, and maybe even the 60s, further on than that, maybe 50s, but the rock and roll exists in the 50s I don't know but I felt like it was very much like fighting power fighting the system and now today like what rock and roll stars that especially mainstream or that young people are listening today are actually like that today like they probably exist I don't know who they are but like, I feel like it's just died down maybe we're too spoiled maybe there's nothing to fight against. oh no no today there in the last two years the last six years there's been plenty to bitch about anyway let's continue in there that kid's face in the audience was scary <laughs> slow-mo scary uh anyway yeah just stop it because i don't want to get blocked pause 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 please like comment and subscribe if you're enjoying this video all right let's continue <laughs> like about the old the old era of music the again the 50s all the way up until like this 80s it's like you didn't have to look amazing to be an artist I mean you could do like them and cover whatever imperfection you have with a lot of hair and a lot of makeup you know kiss did it I'm sure other bands did it too but you could just look whatever as long as you made good music like that's what mattered as long as you had a good message you could be people wanted to dance and have fun I feel like the era of like you had to look like a young Scarlet, like everyone had to look fucking like a goddamn uh, JQ, GQ model to be an artist, kind of started maybe in the late 80s and on up. Um, so I just like the fact that you look at some of these older artists. Mick Jagger has a sex appeal, but he's not the most attractive person on the planet. And so like, again, I just, like Janis Joplin, like all these other artists, 
um, that came before us, like they didn't have to look super, they didn't have to like live or thrive off their pretty privilege to be, re for the talent to be recognized. And I really like that, that, that era of music. Anyway, let's continue. Gotta love those 80 uh, special effects there. <laughs> he probably would have fired his contractor. His house is falling apart, like paper thin walls. You know what I mean? Anyway, I like towards the end where they slowed down the beat, like they kind of took strip away some of the instrumentals, and it was like, tch, 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 tch. we're not gonna take it. Tch, tch. You know what I mean? Like an anthem. Anyway, guys, I loved it. Uh, I don't know much about the Twisted Sisters. Are they a one-hit wonder? Do they have other songs that you guys want me to react to? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that button for notifications when I do upload. All that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, you can donate. My PayPal my link is in the description box below and also in the comment section. Of course, it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, and subscribe. And another great way to support the channel is to either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my brand new merch shop. Statement tees and mugs show the world what you're thinking, how you're feeling, and type of music you're into. I also have a second travel vlog channel. I travel as a lifestyle. If you'd like to know where I am in the world, you can go to the description box below and also in the comment section. Hit the link, go subscribe to my travel vlog channel, and or follow me on my travel Instagram. My stories are usually with most of the date, and you guys have an amazing day. Bye!